Today we are going to hit the road for the first time in 12 months. We're here, it is December 1st in central Vermont and our RV hasn't moved for almost 12 months with the exception of our real fast coast to coast journey to Oregon back in about March this year and then a trip to uh, our property uh, back in, what was it, September or October time I guess. So other than that we haven't moved in almost, well, in fact, over a year now and today is the day we move, we're heading south for the winter, we're leaving this campground as you can see behind me, a ton of snow on the ground. It snowed a few days ago. I think we've got about four or five inches still on the ground here. And uh, we've done our best to clear the uh, trailer, get everything ready yesterday, and also the truck. It is cold outside. It is a lot warmer though than last time we left in winter. Last time was about 15 degrees. Today is a positively balmy 39 degrees right now. But we've got a lot to get done, so let's get to it. So it was slightly easier to hook up this time than last time we had a hook up in winter because it's just slightly warmer than the last time. Yeah, I think last time it was like four degrees in the morning or overnight and then 15 degrees by the time we got here. Today, like 39, it's now, car says 34. I think it's a bit warmer than that. I think it's about 39. So it's a little bit easier, but last time we actually left a couple of things here, I think, whereas this time we've That's taken true. everything with us, Yeah. Um, obviously, because we're leaving. <laughs> we had to hammer out or chisel out the mats that were frozen to the ground. Yeah, the, the, like the door mats at the front. We did that yesterday. We'd forgotten to remove them before the snow. And I suddenly realized like, wait a minute, we've got some <laughs> door mats outside. And you literally chiseled through for about 45 minutes, didn't you, to get them? Yeah. And uh, did that. And then this morning, a similar thing with the blocks, the concrete blocks uh, had frozen to the ground again. Uh, we got a couple of them out um, intact, most just disintegrated as we pulled them out. Um, and we've got one at the front that we can't get out, so we're hoping that the axe will clear that as we pull out. And then once we can actually get to it properly, I can probably hit it with a hammer or another block or something and hopefully get that one out as well. Yeah. Um, but getting out is going to be the challenge. Um, it is, although it's warmer than last time, this road, I don't think it's actually been properly ploughed yet this mm. winter, because we've only had this one big snowfall and cars are kind of okay on here. Yeah. But this morning, as I helped the propane guy take the tank away, we were kind of pushing it up the the, uh, the site on his cart because it had a flat tire on the cart. He fell over on the road because it was so slippy. I then almost fell over. I mean, it is almost like ice. So I we are not going to have a ton of grip on that, obviously. If we need it, we've got chains for the, um, the, the four tires on the truck and the trailer if we really yeah. needed it. Really don't want to have to put those on. That's going to be a pain. The only good thing going for us is because it's only been one snow and the truck was here when it snowed, the space mm. under the truck yes. has zero snow on it. It's just like bare yeah. grass and dirt and things. So I've got good traction on here. The question is whether that's enough to get me the momentum to get them around and also hopefully avoiding the trees on the way out. Because the trees have grown since we put that over here. Trees are definitely growing. This, this gap looks a lot narrower than it did, to be honest, even in March this year. All right. So yeah. Let's see how it goes. Wish us luck. I, I can't tell yet, you have like four more feet to go. Uh, yeah, I think it will clear. Yeah. Thank you. 
we made it just about it was it was pretty dicey the first attempt as i predicted uh we didn't make it out the wheel spun and i just stopped uh, but it did confirm that the axles cleared the block, which was the main thing. So then we did another run with a little bit more momentum and managed to make it out. I was about halfway around the turn and Diana was like, stop. And there was a branch that was just about to hit the RV, which we, we knew was there. I just, I hoped I might've been able to clear it. She was able to grab that, hold it. And then uh, I continued on. It is super icy on this surface. Like I say, it hasn't been plowed this year yet. And, uh, and yeah, it's just really packed down and icy, even on foot. So I took it real slow, just crawling it out in four wheel low. And yeah, we made it out a little bit slippery, but uh, but we made it. And so we are leaving and we are leaving this campground here. This is Green Mountain Family Campground in Vermont, uh, just north of Middlebury, just south of Bristol. We have had a phenomenal time here. We've been here over 12 months. This is one of our all time favorite campgrounds. It's a family run. Uh, Gary and Joanne who run it here are just the nicest people, uh, super friendly. Uh, we felt so safe here during the pandemic and yeah, just a really nice place to be. It's kind of like a, a no frills place. They do have a swimming pool. Uh, we didn't actually use that. We're not really like amenity people. We just kind of like our quiet, peaceful space. And that's what we had here. It was really nice. Our site was between a couple of trees that we've just battled to get through on the way out. During winter, uh, they looked after the roads and things really nicely here. And all in, we just had a really, really nice time at this campground, would highly recommend. And if we find ourselves back in Vermont in spring and needing somewhere to stay, this will be a strong contender for us. Time for us to hit the road. Our sun is finally coming out. Isn't it a beautiful day? From Vermont, we headed south to New York, where we stayed at a friend's driveway for a week before continuing our journey further south. On long travel days, we prefer to use travel plazas. They're free, conveniently located, often have RV-specific areas to park, typically we don't need to unhook, and it doesn't matter what time we arrive or depart. But when we're not pushing quite so hard, we prefer somewhere a little nicer, and Harvest Hosts fits the bill. We stopped at our first Harvest Host as we crossed the country from coast to coast back in August 2020. Since then, the network has expanded significantly and we had no problem finding somewhere to stay. Using Harvest Hosts, we booked a night at Blueland Farm near Frederick, Maryland. Just a short detour from our route. The deal with Harvest Hosts is simple. It's free to stay, but only for one night, and you're asked to buy something from the host, usually a farm, vineyard, brewery, museum, etc. They also typically have a check-in buy time, often 5 p.m. or earlier, which is why we don't use them on long travel days when we might not stop driving until gone 9 p.m. In our case, we had no problem arriving by 3.30 p.m. as requested by the host. We parked RV and were pleased to find that not only was it perfectly level side to side, but also that we only needed to slightly raise our tongue to level it front and back, so we didn't have to unhook the truck either. As is customary, we went and said hello to the host and bought some delicious farm products fresh eggs, as well as some frozen lamb chops and stewing lamb. They had two of the lamb chops for dinner that night, and they were delicious. Even the cows are coming. <laughs> Thanks to the easy parking situation at the farm, it took us less than 10 minutes to get rolling the next morning. We soon crossed the state border and continued our journey south. Welcome to Virginia. This winter, we found a quiet campground in Virginia to stay put for a while. It's by the water with a beautiful riverside view. It's not really fun to film or watch us work at our computers eight hours a day. So the next time we picked our cameras was in January when we went on an epic road trip to move the contents of our storage unit in Texas all the way to Vermont. But that will be the story for next time. Thanks for watching and if you did enjoy this video then be sure to subscribe and join us on our epic road trip from Texas to Vermont.